In this tutorial, we'll cover how to add your company's Linux devices to your JumpCloud directory leveraging the JumpCloud agent. To get started, go to the Device Management tab in the menu on the left and select Devices. Here, you'll see any existing devices. JumpCloud is entirely vendor agnostic, meaning that we support Linux, Mac, and Windows devices. To add a new device, simply click the green plus button in the top left side. You'll see the New Device pane slide in from the right hand side. Select your operating system within this pane. In this use case, we'll select Linux. Here, you'll see a curl command which you may copy and paste into the terminal or shell of the Linux device in order to install the agent. The connect key is already added to this curl command as well. This connect key is a unique key that is required during install in order to add the new device to your JumpCloud organization. JumpCloud supports multiple Linux distros. To see a full list of supported versions and distros, please refer to the related knowledge base article. By installing the JumpCloud agent, you'll have the ability to take over pre-existing local user accounts or provision new local user accounts within JumpCloud, thus enforcing a user's JumpCloud password on their Linux device and associated local Linux user account. For this demonstration, we'll be using an Ubuntu VM with the hostname of bfe 3 This device has two local user accounts, Bob Fay and SuperAdmin. Both accounts are currently sudoers. We'll go through the CLI install along with binding the two JumpCloud users to this Linux device, thus taking over their local user accounts and enforcing their JumpCloud passwords. To get started, log into the machine as your local admin or sudoer account. You can directly log into the device, access via a KVM, or via SSH. In this example, we're going to log into the super admin account via SSH. Once logged in as your sudo account on the Linux device, you can copy and paste the command from JumpCloud into the terminal or SSH session. This will install the agent and begin adding the device as a JumpCloud managed Linux device within your JumpCloud organization. This process could take up to two minutes. Once a device appears within JumpCloud, the agent reaches out to JumpCloud for any updates in a 60 second cadence, meaning that any change to the device, policies, commands, or a bound user association will be automatically updated within 60 seconds. The device BFA003 has been successfully added. By clicking on the device, we can pull up some of the device's information such as hostname, network adapter address, external IP address, agent version, serial numbers, and much more. With System Insights, you can retrieve and report on even more data and information from the device. To take over the pre-existing local accounts for Bob and SuperAdmin, bind their JumpCloud user accounts to this device. Simply click on the device from the list, navigate to the Users tab, and bind the JumpCloud users by checking the checkbox next to their account. Please note that when binding JumpCloud users to JumpCloud devices, account takeover will only occur if the JumpCloud username or the JumpCloud local user account name attribute are the same as the local Linux account. Otherwise, a new local Linux account will be provisioned on the device. Before account takeover can fully occur on the Linux device, the JumpCloud user accounts must be in an active user status. You can also promote or demote a user's privileges as well during this process. Since Bob Fay is currently a sudoer on his Linux device, we're going to demote him to a standard local user account with no admin rights. Finally, save the configurations by clicking the Save Device button in the bottom right. That's it. Both the Super Admin and Bob Fay user accounts are now using their JumpCloud credentials to access this Linux device. Check out JumpCloud's knowledge base articles for more information and details about managing Linux devices.